Good day, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Kelly Russell from Car Solutions. Hello, Kelly. How are you? Good. Thank you, Paul. How about yourself? I'm wonderful. Always the better for seeing you. Oh, you're so full of it. But let's not spend a whole bunch of time wasting time on that and pleasantries. Uh, we've got some important tips for businesses around tax time. Cool. Yes, we're going to be talking about three top tips for tax time for the small businesses, medium sized businesses, any businesses that should be using. Let's look at the first one. Tell us about the avoiding the data dump. Yeah, so what happens sometimes, whether it comes in a shoebox or whether you are actually using sort of a scan or email or taking pictures of your receipts, it's always more costly when you save everything up all year and just go here to your bookkeeper. That's not a good use of our time and it typically costs you more. We don't really like it because if we get a whole bunch of those, we're drowning and we can't uh, manage it very well and do a good job for our clients. So if you are working with your financial professional through the year, if anybody has a question, we can get it answered right away. Well, you still actually remember, as opposed to you trying to go, uh, I can't remember what happened in March of last year, if we're now talking about March of this year. It's just a better system. So you're saying little, little and often is better rather than just data, huge data dump. And Absolutely. And of course, most people understand a data dump, as you say, it's just a shoebox, but uploading 10,000 receipts to Dex or a spreadsheet is still a data dump. It's still a data dump. It's, it's, it's still a whole bunch of information delivered all at once from either a half a year, a whole year, several years. It's just not a good idea. Oh, gosh, several years. That would scare me to death. Hi, and we're still here with Kelly from Carve Solutions, and we're moving on to the top tax tip number two. Kelly, tell me why you should always file on time. Well, it's really important to file on time every time uh, because it allows you to avoid the late filing penalties. So whether or not you have the ability to pay the full balance due, you can only pay a half, you can't pay anything, file on time. Those penalties are steep and on and steep on purpose. Uh, it's 10% for filing late of the amount that you owe, plus 2% per full month uh, that you are late in filing. That's just the late fee. That's not the interest. Filing late does not save you interest. Interest accrues right from when it was due, not from the day you file. So you're not saving anything. File on time each time, every time. Wow. So yes, there really is no reason not to file on time because those fees are, you know, 10% and you don't know what the 10% is until you file. Correct. Exactly. So like your head in the sand is not the answer. File, know what the number is and work to deal with it from there. Yeah, I'm not sure the, the Canadian government would rather get something than not know what they're getting. They'd like to know what they're going to get. They're actually pretty reasonable on the business side. They, they And as long as you're communicating with them, answer them, answer their letters, answer their phone calls, be in communication. Um, they will work with you uh, if you're trying to work with them. Awesome. Okay, so we're moving on to the third top tip. Um, work with a professional all year round. Why should a business work with a tax professional all year round? Working with a professional, whether it's a bookkeeper, an accountant, somebody who's helping them with their taxes at the end, or whether those are two different people. First of all, you will solve number one, because we will keep you on task and you will not be doing the data dump. You're gonna be doing those little bites uh, often. Uh, number two, we'll be on you. Everything will be ready to go. So everything is equipped to do the file on time. That's the other problem with the data dump. You can't always file on time. So you automatically are setting yourself up for those horrific fees. So, and you also get uh, some input as to how your business is doing throughout the year. It's not a surprise. I mean, you watch the bank account, so you sort of have an idea, but instead of, oh, hey, I spent some money on some advertising. Well, did it work? If you're working with the right financial professional, you can ask those questions and get that feedback while you can still make changes in your business during the year. Work with awesome. a pro right from the get-go. Yes. I mean, obviously, as to uh, we're converted, we believe in these top two, three tips, hence why we're sharing them. Yeah, I don't understand why anybody in a business wouldn't want to have their finger on a pulse. It, I would 
give me sleepless nights waiting to not know what I'm going to file. You know, so if I'm doing it all year round, I can get an estimated guess of what my tax liability is going to be and whether I can save more or spend more to then save, spend less tax, pay less tax. Sorry. Precisely. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah. It's just, that's the way we prefer to work. And that mm. tends to be the way that people get the most out of their business on the finance side. Yeah, because money is a resource. You know, finance is a resource. Make it work for the business. Absolutely. Awesome. That was great, Paul. Thanks very much. We'll talk no to you problem. soon. Have a wonderful day. And thank you, everybody else. And look forward for more great top tips for the wonderful Kelly. Bye-bye. Bye now.